but we have a major problem. I found out about two hours ago, hour ago, that my tractor was towed away. I left it with the seller when I bought it. I um, was told I could park it in the spot overnight and um, it would be safe, but the tractor was towed away. It is unregistered, so I cannot drive it away from the towing place. I'm gonna have to get the tractor towed from the towing place and um, and go from there. I, you know, the tractor's not registered, it never has been. And they won't let me just drive it away. I'm gonna have to get a tow truck to help me tow it and then drive it home. They told me it's 180 bucks. Um, so hopefully today we can go get my car back. I, I don't think it's an option for me to leave the tracker behind, especially for that much money. I have about three grand in the tracker, 2,500, three grand. So you guys will see in a little bit, we're gonna head over there and go pick it up. Oh boy. But um, but yeah, she was not cool. And I tried to call back, I was on hold, I just hung it up, just like frustration right when you got here. So I'll call again, call again, but they don't wanna help me out. So I'm gonna just call the tow place that I called originally that's on the sign in the condos, they didn't have it. They, they knew a competitor was who else got called that had it. Yeah. I might call them, tell my shit like a block and I'll put the plate on it, like please, any help. You know, I already spoke to them today. Yeah, you, 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 um. Whatever it takes, like if the dude wants to be cool, I'll drive it out. If I gotta get a towed, I'll call the other place. AAA is like seeming like I'm gonna be on hold and they probably won't help me. Bro, 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 you could tell them, you could lie to them. You can lie I, to them. I mean, like I, it, see, it broke I even, down and it got told from the spot where it was. I at. told her all truth and it was still like legit. Even if even if I'm like lying, whatever. Like, I just want to get my car like taken care of. So, whether that works or not, I got backup ideas for still, yeah. still getting this car today. And like I said, we're tight on time to get there by five. But you know, hopefully someone will be there at yeah. five and we'll get that shit. So. Uneventful ride back, but like I said, you know, the clutch was was messing up. I had to do lots and lots and lots of pumps of the clutch pedal itself to change gears. It was really not not what you want. I was looking forward to not having to take the risks of driving this car on the road again, but we did one more ride, and um, now it might be a little break for the tracker, and we'll just be driving that more often. Something nice and safe, something fun. Looking forward to daily driving with the fit you know it's a much better car here's another look at the uh the busted tire from the last episode as you can see cables just poking out of that thing my one-handed removal you can see my plate it's the hottest plate you're ever going to see right here 
but you know, you gotta keep it rolling. You know, I have no choice but to keep rolling. Can't stop, won't stop. We go from one onto the next. That's just how it is. back to my car to go to lunch wanted to mention that um, I've been learning more about the imperfections of my car and such and one of them this morning was that when I opened this door to get in this morning a bunch of water fell out because apparently somewhere on this door there's a dent um, in the hinge or something but not only did water fall out water fell in from up here and this seat was soaked when I got in this morning had a wet butt as I went to work, but looks to be dry now. It's quite warm in there. No major, major issues with the car yet. I'm having a great time with it, enjoying it. I feel like it's money well spent when you think about how much these cars cost to find really nice sorted ones. We're talking 10 grand for cars with 150,000 miles. This car has 270, I'm pretty satisfied so far. driving and my brakes in this car have been a little grindy since we got it but listen to this ready isn't that a great noise to hear from your brakes there it again listen that's not just grinding i'm not sure what that is it's a bit disconcerting i'm moving at 60 miles per hour and that is how i stop is making that noise. I've been trying to figure it out. I don't know how to learn. 